Okay, so we are going to start. It's fairly easy, guys. Let me just adjust the camera. Go. Okay, so these are the tools that we need. First and foremost, of course, our glue gun. Okay, I have here an 18 gauge wire, but if you can find number 16, that is so much better. And then I'll cut it in half. Okay, half. Like so. And then just with your long nose plier, like so. Okay. I have here my styrofoam ball. I will give you all the measurements in the comments. Okay, I will send you a list. And then all this as well. So what I basically will do, okay, just right smack at the center. Upper place that. Okay. 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 That's it. And what I'll do at the end, at the bottom here, I'll put a little bit of glue, just a little bit, just so I make sure that it stays. You know that, um, and then a little bit on top as well, then I will flatten it out. This you will have to tell your client that you have styrofoam, okay? Especially for kids, you don't want kids to accidentally eat or bite on your gum face where you're using the styrofoam. But usually, naman, flowers are not eaten, so that should be fine. Make sure the hot glue is not um, scor um, scorching hot, otherwise you'll burn your finger. And then just scrape it out. See, you filled up the gap already. Let this dry for a while before you use it. I'll give you the measurement, okay? But um, generally, um, the size of your styrofoam is up to, uh, depending on, how, on, on the size of the flower that you will make, okay? Okay, so these are the sizes of my puny, all right, puny cutters, all right, four. So I'm going to use this, all right, but I will start basically with this one first, okay? So I'm going to make like six, seven of the smallest, seven to eight, seven to eight, seven to eight, okay? So six to seven here, or you can just do seven to eight all, so you always have an extra one, all right? And then we um, decide how much petals we will arrange as we go along, okay? I've colored my um, paste um, yellow, okay? We'll make a yellow puny this time. So basically, I'm just gonna um, roll it, okay, to the thinnest. Um, I don't really like using um, corn flour just because it makes the paste um, dry very quickly. But when it gets sticky like this, then you should put a little bit of corn flour underneath, okay? Um, you can also work with um, shortening so it doesn't get sticky on your hands, all right? I'm just gonna get corn flour. But um, use sparingly, very little. I'm just gonna rub it off like that. Otherwise, your petals will dry very quickly. Okay, you don't want it to dry very quickly. Okay, so let's do this. Cut as much as thin it out. Okay, and how do you know if it's thin enough? It's basically when you put something underneath, like for example this, you'll be able to see like this one here, this side is already thin, but this side is not yet. Can you guys see? Okay. See that? I can see the word piece, but here, so which means I'm gonna have to thin out some more. Okay, the thinner the petals, the better. Right. Unless you're making uh, thick petal flowers, some of them are thick. But this one, we wanna make it look fairly thin. Okay, so this should be okay. I'm gonna cut, um, I'm gonna prepare my petals as much as I can, okay? So, I'm gonna do one. one. So, do seven of this, all right? Okay, so I basically cut some of my petals, all right, as thin as I could. I'm gonna keep them in a board like this with a plastic on top, and I also keep it inside the bag, all right? Keep it um, uh, moist. Okay, so I took three out here right now. 
what I'll do. Okay, put them down like that. This is a banner. You don't, um, if you don't have a banner, there's no problem. I'll show you another method how to vein this without a veiner. Okay, press it right at the center. This is the center of your veiner right here. Right here, just align it right at the center and press. And press. And then what you do is you turn it like so, and then with the ball tool, just soften the edges, not much, okay, and the sides, and then cup it. When you cup, you take your ball tool at the end of the paste and roll it. At the end of the paste and roll it. So the vein is still on that side because why do you want to do that? Because this is how you want to put your base cup on the styrofoam. Alright? Now, you can also cover this with a paste if you want, just to make sure that um, the styrofoam can't be seen. But if you do this um, properly and nicely, then um, we don't really need to cover it. Okay? I'll do one more. Now, this time you don't have... Um, we're not going to use that. So what I'll do, I'll just use a veining tool, like so. Very basic. Just press the line all the way to the center. Okay. All right. And then turn it around. In the same process. Just thin the edges slightly. And then cut against a foam mat, okay? So we do this on all five to six, okay? One more. Press. Turn. here glue edible glue I'll give you the recipe also so you basically just put all over all the way not too much okay it may look like I'm putting a lot but just trust me okay. just wrap it and take the excess sticking on the styrofoam. The center of the styrofoam is here. Make it as centered as possible. Then just overlap it. Make sure that you lock here. I'm not, um, I did not put um, uh, uh, gum paste on the styrofoam basically so if you're doing a production of this then you need to be really quick right? center just overlapping don't worry about here because we're gonna cover that later so. you want this to interlock okay so one two three four five six so the sixth one will go under First okay. Give it that interlocking shape. Just open it slightly. Put the petal in. Press it. Put the center there. And just fold back. A 
Okay, so now I'm going to work on the next layer. Now what you need to do is work very quickly and two or three petals at a time. So I'm going to vein. slightly up if you want it a little bit closer you don't want to glue all the way don't glue the sides yet okay especially the left one don't glue it but glue on the right keep it open at the tip and do the same the next step overlapping This time you can glue the left, but the first one don't glue it. Then the red and the tip. No, make sure that it's not glued. Okay. Next one. Basically, we're doing the same thing as we did with the center. But this time, not gluing all the way through. Orange is yes. how you want your petals to look. You want it to curl in the hand, you don't want it to curl out it, don't glue it. And the tip. Let's see this for that, let's go upside down. Come on, get down. And then you shake it a little bit. There you go. Okay, you don't want it to be fully open just yet. And then you do so with three more petals. Okay, so now we are on the next size up. This is the third size. 
so we are the medium you can still keep the same size it's just that uni comes in different beautiful petal shapes okay i will send you the template for this one so again i'm gonna work with um, three for now and three like that okay the same way same process okay let me show you one and i'll fast forward the rest up until here okay see my hand there right here Okay, so this is dried overnight. There you go. So that's um three layers of petals already. Okay, so we're gonna work again on the fourth layer, and it's gonna be the same shape as the third one. 